we've been now the last 30 years manufacturing uh, performance outerwear and knitwear in China and for the last 15 years we were doing woof and wear mainly pants out of our factory in Laos. The unique proposition I would say is first of all I call it sustainability. The sustainable measure is to produce quality garments but this long life of those quality garments is basically uh, sustainable and that is where we stand for and on the other hand we're trying to be very ethical to follow our slogan, business is people. Gerlinde Engel, when she started 95 back in Laos, she was a bit shocked when she discovered that only a minor part of the employees were able to calculate and to read. Over the years we got really people in the company improving on those skills, however still the education system itself didn't improve that much. Yalindi afterwards retired and her sister-in-law basically was working also in the education sector in Germany and the two ladies decided to put up a foundation, Angels for Children, and took over a government school, refitted them, put them properly sanitary equipment in there, put up the teachers to a standard uh, where the people are getting really or the kids getting really a benefit from education and we started off about 2005 with the school and by now the school is one of the most respected uh, government schools in Laos. When the young girls and the boys they come to me in the factory they want to find a job it was impossible because they cannot read, not write, they can do nothing and I must bring from Thailand a lot, 60 person, to start a factory here in Laos. My children have a hobby, some they dancing, some they, uh, they make sport. Now I want to try to find a football field for them, we have one, no? And so I hope the children can do something what they like. Overall we have 900 kids from our workers and from the fellows in the village uh, being able to receive proper education and overall our factory will be dramatically benefit from this education initiative that we're getting top talent workers afterwards for our operation. Well, we are not automized in this industry. We are living from skillful workers and happy people. Uh, only a happy person can make a good quality because they need to be motivated. The only automation uh, we're having is in the cutting room where you see the robots. All the rest is where we really need the human being. And for me, that needs to be really treated with utmost respect. Cleanliness is a very, very important point. So we're trying that our dormitories are really clean, uh, our working place is clean. Uh, we built up last year a new sports facility where we have a basketball court there, badminton courts, uh, where we have a karaoke in there, table tennis courts, so that we also built a kind of a recreation area after work. And one thing is very, very important is because of the climate in, or the subtropical climate in China as well in Laos, our entire factories are fully air conditioned. So which giving a comfortable eight hours to ten hours where the people are working on the machines. By now, I have to say China, in the performance of the market, is the absolute number one in the world. And I believe that they need to be treated with the same respect than Italy for fashion, or France for the leather goods, or for the fragrances. That is, that is a fact. The world has to live with China now. China is becoming a quality sign in the performance of the market.